forward, putting them kind of in a line. Oh my god, one lurker, two lurkers sit down while one lurker moves, and this of course is putting C back constantly. C actually reacting, it was actually an eBay, so he's gonna have some turrets up. But the workers are possibly going to range that. No, they're gonna, definitely going to range the supply depot, though. No tanks on the way for C. So he, C, if he tries to break out, he's going to have to get his timing down pat 100%. So he doesn't get all of his Marines killed. There is that one bunker. Supply depot goes down to start off with. Marines getting possibly in red position. I'm not quite sure if there are enough Marines to take out all these workers. Workers getting it even closer. Almost raging the bunker at this point. Har on the way, Hive up on the opposite side alongside a Spire for Calm. So I don't really know what the heck he's going for. It has four workers attacking the bunker now, one SUV repairing it. That's going to be in jeopardy. Two SUVs repairing the bunker. So C for this moment just holding, holding, not building any more Marines at this point, just building up his factory because he knows if he gets a tank out there, he's going to be in pretty decent position. I think Calm might actually be taken up very quickly just to get Defilers out because he knows that if he adds Defilers to his, his massive worker amount, and at this, I think at this point in the game, the way it is, four works actually a lot. St scan goes off, all the workers move back a little bit. Zerglings trying to block in, doing a pretty good job. Another scan goes off. Most of the Marines die, but all the four Zerglings, all the four workers stay alive. Oh, you can see the, the look on C's face. He knows he should have been able to do better. There are even more workers now on the way. All the Zerglings got killed, but the Marines horrible position. Spire almost up as well now, and we're going to probably see a devoured end up soon. Mortars not being put up by C doesn't really don't know if he knows whether Mutalisk I don't even know if Mutalisk is on the way oh there you go Defiler mount so Calm definitely knows if he gets a Defiler mount out there that's it again C gonna try to break out <laughs> get some me oh man getting some Marines completely needlessly killed I wonder maybe he didn't get a scan off or maybe misclicked god that was horrible got three or four Marines killed for absolutely no purpose, and now Calm is just going to continue on. Actually, going to again use that little trick with the workers. The CV getting killed, trying to spot positions. More Marines being produced at this point, and Starport actually also being produced there by C. So he's going to probably also want to get those tanks out from that factory house. Of course, did have a machine shop upgrading there. He's going to need siege, but it's going to take him a while until he has a chance. Scan going off to spot the number of workers. I think Calm just in a dominating position at this point. He has put down expansion at the six o'clock, very close to. C's base most likely for reinforcements even more Zergling is now going to come in and C I just don't see any way for him to get back in this he does have two bases Eco economy just now kicking in for him he just doesn't have enough production buildings only probably just now got up his third racks so he's just going to stand inside of his base and I think Calm is just in a dominating position as soon as he gets probably just going to wait for his first defiler he's just going to stand around for now Wait, as soon as the first defiler out, he's gonna go for it, is what I'm guessing. He might actually go for it even before the defiler, but the first defiler now is out. <laughs> of course, being spawned at the 6 o'clock base. Gonna be very ready to get one Dark Swarm off, is gonna be it. One Dark Swarm will finish this game. Consume is gonna take a while. Second defiler also coming in. Now he's just gonna sit there, wait for Consume to research. That's gonna be it. Three Baraxes making... Oh, three Baraxes making Marines and Medics. Two Star Puts actually being put down, most likely for Wraiths. Top defense because, of course, critically, no Hydras on the field. One tank in position. Lurker is actually going to move in. Dark Swarm coming off. Tank is going to be killed instantly. Tank moving out far too late. Going to get killed. A bunch of Marines and Medics going to get killed off. The next expansion is going to be broken into Lurkers. Trying to move in again. Another Dark Swarm going to come in. And now Calm in a dominant position. Raced out far too late. Not even close to being there. Siege not being upgraded. SCV is now being lined off someone being killed as they try to get back into the main Marines try to fight back try to kill at least one worker there horrible position overall for see another dark swarm and right just right inside the base siege is finally ready fire bats on the field that instantly get killed as they spawn but the workers are now on the spawn line they're among the raxes some more Marines there oh man get slaughtered oh dear god GG coming in from C wonderful game played there by calm oh my god that was insane so great game played there by calm he's gonna move into the winners match we're gonna have a ZBZ to find out which one of the two kind of uh, top surprising Zergs this season are commerce or zero so great game there and unfortunately C is gonna face off in the losers match we're gonna do GG guys ranching out thanks for listening
아, 비잔티움 3, 예, 테란테 저우전에서 어, 테란의 이 머린 매직 병력 들이 제2의 멀티 지역 있지 않습니까? 미네랄 멀티. 거기까지도 못 나가보고 그냥 경기 저거한테 내주는 경기는 처음인 것 같습니다. 네. 야, 이번 김윤환 선수 바로 옆집에서 와서 저 자리에 앉아서 일어나지도 않고 바로 십리각 지축권 따내고 바로 가면은 이거만큼 경제적 인기가 있습니까? 그렇죠. 야, 자, 예. 야, 진짜 송병호 선수도 정찰을 못해 정찰을 했지만 몰라서 당했고 연구선 선수도 정찰이 누렸고 예상을 못했기 때문에 이렇게 완벽하게 당했는데 아, 김윤환 선수 진짜 예, 뚝심 있는 그런.